we will demonstrate supply chain model. Here we see supply chain model, uh, which is performed by the participants of the supply chain. The supplier, manufacturer, shipment, distribution center, and last mile delivery could be more or less of uh, uh, participants. Each of those participants participates with specific tasks. And here we see the process provides supplies, manufacture, check quality, uh, sea shipment, air shipment, uh, stored goods, package goods, and uh, deliver goods. And that's it. Each of those steps it has its own duration, so we can specify duration here on the steps. And also we have uh, dependence on the probabilities of the uh, events. So for example, here that uh, we check goods and uh, there is 10% uh, probability that we will go back and the quality will be defected and we will need to repeat the step. Quality is passed with 0 0.9, percent probability we go to the next step. So here it's uh, 25% probability that uh, we will need additional supplies to provide to manufacture our goods. So this process is from the order to the deliver. Also here we see the delays on the on the flows, so there is not on the tasks, but if we really pass some, uh, uh, and reach some flow which uh, has delay, we have also here the possibility to specify delay on the flow. How to specify delay? It's very simple, we can just, we can assign the delay on anything here. Here we go. And then we can specify that it will take from 2 to 5 and let's say hours or days or minutes, seconds. Now here we see the total, uh, total uh, delay uh, duration min and max and we see the task and we see the flows and we see that we just specified delay on this flow so we get this delay here available right? so and also we see here probabilities so we have here probability that uh, will be defect 0 1 and quality check will pass 0 9 where supply is 25 percent and supply is available 75 percent then um, based on the, on the uh, Initial configuration is the goods available or not? We will pass the short path or we will pass long path. And also, is the uh, priority shipment or else we will pass the short, uh, the uh, air shipment path with 8 to 15 hours or sea shipment with 6 to 8 days. So, those configurations are here available. We have here supply chain. With goods available, true, priority false, supply chain with uh, goods not available, priority shipment false, and supply chain two with goods not available, priority shipment true. There could be many configurations based on the chain. And uh, here we see the whole supply chain specification. So we have supply chain which consists of uh, participants which are last mile delivery, distribution center, manufacturer, supplier, shipment. There could be more, we could add additional ones and add them to the process. And now we can pick and run uh, different configuration, different uh, uh, variants of the analysis. So steps analysis we can check how long it will take with the default executions so we see here that uh, if we use random execution time we get this execution like that 
So we have uh, 0.4 days for the provide supplies, then uh, 0.2 days to manufacture, 0.2 days to check quantity, and then 8 days to sea shipment, 2 days to store goods, 2 day, oh, zero, one day, 0 0.2 days to store goods, 0 0.1 day to prepare goods, and 0 0.4 days to deliver. And in total, 9.7 days. But I can run again because it uses randomization, it, the times will be different. So here we have 8.7 days. Now, what if I want to check those different configurations, right? So I can rerun those configurations and see what will be here as total result. So we see that uh, if we are delivering in priority, we have uh, 4.4 days. If we are delivering uh, with goods available, we have 0 0.6 days. If we are delivering uh, without priority, it's 8.4 days. But we run uh, many times in the Values changes what it means. It means that we have uh, different values, random values. So we need to run the Monte Carlo analysis in order to run this value, to run this execution many times to get uh, the mean and standard deviation. So we can pick the configuration and run, uh, let's say, 100 times or 1000 times. So which configuration we will pick? Let's say that we want to pick that uh, we are delivering priority without goods available. So let's say, let's select this configuration here. Now I will go to this configuration and for the Monte Carlo, I will choose this one. Yes, supply chain two, Monte Carlo. So have executed 100 times but we could execute um, execute uh, more times like uh, 200 times for example and let's say that we will execute another configuration so for example this one goods are not available we need to manufacture them and uh, there is no priority shipment or C shipment right okay so let's rerun with Monte Carlo and let's get results. We could also export results to the file and we can see any kind of value generated. Also, we could control the distribution. So now we have uniform distribution. We could we have also uh, normal distribution, and uh, depends on the distribution, we will get uh, final results. So we have here mean 9.5 and uh, standard deviation 1.1 for this configuration. Then we run with the uh, uh, goods are not available and priority shipment is false, so this path is followed. Goods are not available, so here goes here and priority shipment false. And again, I could run this uh, single step analysis, I can decrease the speed, say like 50, and analyze what, what is that process which we now did Monte Carlo analysis, the step analysis. And here we see the step-by-step -step analysis. And go here, go here, and we see each step, how, who is performing the step, what is the task, and uh, how long it took, and what is the path. So we see not priority shipment, and store goods and then package goods and 
further than that. Okay, the total process. Nine and dot one hour. So pretty much in the boundaries of this mean and standard deviation.